What's up, J Nation? What's going on? It's the 12th of July here today, about 3.45, getting a little bit of a late start. What is today? Today is going to be upright row for the floor or high pool, whatever you want to call it. Get that bar going as fast as possible and as high as possible, hopefully uh, to above, uh, you, you know, right up to the upper chest. That's what I'm looking at there. Uh, as long as I get it like right around the chest area, I'm happy about that. But I'm hoping to get that high and that fast with the uh, work sets at 75% I have today. So I'll try and get you some wicked angles, get you some good footage, talk to you in between, give you some helpful hints or tips. And that's it, mainly here, just wanna try and uh, get a movement explosion out of the bottom, get the hips involved and drive that up with the arms to the upper chest. So not catching a bar or racking a bar, whatever you call it, just trying to get that explosive movement, get that power generation stuff, I'm not an Olympic lifter, so, but I'm looking for that explosion off the floor and the power aspect, carry over into real life in case you need that speed at one point or another. But that's what we're doing on today. I had a, a snack before I started here, a banana, so I had my lunch already. It's about maybe almost two hours after my meal. I had that snack beforehand, got my drinking stuff, gonna stay hydrated and uh, gonna work on that there and hopefully get a good sweat going. But I'm gonna get to work here and get moving because I have some uh, stuff to go uh, run to Costco and stuff this evening after uh, dinner. So I'll fill you in on that later. But uh, yeah, it's time to get to work. Jay Anthony's out of here. What's going on, J Nation? How's it going? Moving on to uh, barbell row right now. That's exercise number two. Have a uh, one, uh, sorry, 282 and a half on. Got the uh, one and a quarter pound magnetic plates on there. So as I'm doing for the uh, uh, lesser increments on there, so I make some progress, especially on these top sets like this. And then we'll do the work sets next. Next thing here is get full range of motion, full contraction, and uh, use a little momentum. That's what I do. Like I said, transfers over into real life better. And uh, yeah, just that's what I'm gonna be working on right there. It might even, uh, you know, I'm a little raised up on the platform here. Uh, sometimes I touch the floor, sometimes I don't. You know, there's a special exercise where you do uh, your barbell rows off the floor. I haven't tried those yet. Maybe later on in the future I will. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. And, and uh, just uh, like I said, get that contraction going, get that full extension going, and rack that bar and move on to the next set. And I'm gonna get to work here. All right, J Nation, what's going on? Just finished up, uh, did a 235 here for a single. Wide grip pull downs right there. So that was my next exercise. I did uh, three singles with regular pull ups there. So I'm just starting this right now. I'm gonna start my work sets. You know, you'll see this one here. Like I said, some momentum, some lean. Want that uh, extension all the way to the top and then the contraction in the bottom position. And I'm gonna try and work on form a little bit more once I get to the uh, work sets there and then the three rep sets after that. So I don't know if I'll talk to you in between there. Who knows? I don't know. But yeah, so working up a sweat here, breathe a little bit heavy, so that's good, keeping things moving. Around one minute rest there. But uh, yeah, so you, like I said, it's very important to get the full extension, full contraction, mostly the full contraction here. Try and touch your chest with the bar. Some people don't do that. They stop at the chin level or higher. Ah, that doesn't work. You need to get all the way close to your chest. That's what I'm working on here. And that's what I'll definitely be doing with the 75% stuff. So those are some helpful tips right there. And uh, yeah, I'll give you more of those later on and uh, talk about form and then stuff like that. But no uh, one, one and a half, uh, one and a quarter plates, so two and a half pounds on here. Just doing the same uh, rep scheme and weight scheme that I did for the close grip pull downs that I did uh, last week. So I'm gonna get back to work. All right, out of here.
All right, Jay Nation, what's going on? Forgot to talk to you again here. Just doing the uh, uh, six sets of three here with 75% for my top set of three with the last uh, periodization uh, cycle. So that's what I'm doing right now. I think I might did four on that last one there, but I'm on my third set right now. Working up uh, a little bit of more of a sweat, breathing a little bit heavier. Good thing, getting that blood flush in the muscles, vascularity, trying to get all that stuff going, and uh, open up some uh, I just sort of more oxidative pathways, mitochondria, all that stuff. Usually for higher rep stuff, but if you've been doing singles as long as I have, this will make a difference, a little bit of a difference at least. And then uh, yeah, get some uh, extra stuff with calisthenic stuff that I do later on. So that's what I'm up to now, and I'll talk to you when I get all finished up. All right, I'm out of here, back to work. All right, J-Nation, what's going on? Just finished the workout here, just hanging out. Again, sitting on a bench, cooling off. Trying to just cool down a little bit. Got a good sweat going on here. Just breathing a little bit lighter now. Just finished up my calisthenics and did some stretches and stuff for the cool down. Workout was right around the two hour mark, maybe about hour and a half, two hour, quarter of, I don't know. Around no more than two hours it was. But yeah, with rest, one minute in between each set. And a 75% day, 90 plus percent of that top set. So that worked out pretty well. I'm just trying to use the uh, the magnetic plates for uh, lower incremental changes and stuff instead of just the two and a half pounders. So that works out pretty good here. Still got the scruff going on here. Gonna go up by a uh, pre-workout, uh, not pre-workout, but post-workout meal cooking right now. So uh, that should be some uh, fried steak. And I don't know what kind of carb I'm gonna have with that. We'll see. And uh, yeah, so just gonna do a cool down. Got cardio tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, you know, get some um, sweat going on there and some, um, how would you say, some oxidative uh, impact on the muscles. <laughs> that's what I'll be working on tomorrow, so that's what they're looking to be. I'll be uh, doing some uh, ladder work and uh, I don't know what else, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so mainly with these, um, you know, repetitions and stuff, just trying to get the full range of motion, full contraction, moving as quick as possible, moving that weight as fast as possible. And that's what I'm working on with 75% and then that's part of that periodization block that I'm gonna be doing with this segment right here, about three weeks long it is, then take a deload week. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right uh, for this next rotation here, switching things up a little bit, messing around with the rep schemes a little bit, and also the percentage schemes and the incremental increases also. So a lot of stuff going on, experiment with a lot of different stuff, hopefully be able to put that in an Excel sheet and then uh, get my uh, poundages and stuff for, for like the whole week and also the whole rotation. So I'm gonna be working on that also while I have some downtime with school. And uh, yeah, just finish up uh, first part of the final for my uh, um, nutrition program. So that's going next. I got two more parts on that. So I'll be working on that too. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm keeping busy with until school starts. I gotta pick my classes soon coming up. And then yeah, so that'll be good then. And uh, yeah, summer's going on pretty quick. Hope you're making some gains. Hope everything's going well. And uh, yeah, that your workouts are going well, your nutrition's going well. And I guess we're on Thursday here. So one more day to the weekend. If uh, you're working in school, I don't know what you're up to, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go get my lunch. No, not lunch, but my dinner. I used to work out in the morning, so that's why I'm saying lunch. Work out in the afternoon, so it's gonna be dinner. But yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's still a lot used to the transition in the afternoon, still working out how, what time I wanna start lifting and how I wanna work my snack out and stuff before that, and uh, also the post-workout meal. So a lot, of, a lot of changes going on, and just a lot of figuring out, a lot of moving parts and everything. But uh, yeah, so uh, thumbs up, seven up, like, subscribe, Send an email, tell a friend, leave a comment below, and uh, enjoy the vlogs, enjoy the wicked angles, enjoy the beats. All right, Jay Anthony's out of here.